Anchor David Asman is here. David, your take on this half basis point, uh, 50 base point five zero yeah. cut in interest rates. First time in four years. We've watched other countries around the world do this already, and now the U.S. Well, Kelly said it with that one word, election. There is an election coming up, but there's a lot of suspicion that what Jay Powell is doing, he's the, the head of the Federal Reserve, is putting his finger on the scale and, and making the economy perhaps roar a little more than it would otherwise. Now, markets right now are going down because a lot of people are worried, what is it that Jay Powell sees in the economy that might require a half-point cut? We should let the viewers know that usually if there's almost always this happens, if there's a rate cut of a half a point or more, it is usually uh, right before for a recession. So the question is, are those jobs numbers bad enough? Uh, and remember, we saw those downward revisions. They, they kept coming in uh, at, at spectacular rates. It seemed right. to be doing well. And then the month later, we find out it was only half that number or even worse. So is, is Jay Powell really concerned that, that perhaps we are on the cusp of a recession. That's why he's dropping it so much. Uh, but there, the bottom line is the government, there's another part of all this, which is, is that the government itself is spending money like a drunken sailor, and that's affecting his decision as well. Uh, the government is now spending, the last month, the government spent twice as much money as came in. That is, we had about $300 billion come in in tax revenue last month. The government was spending $380 billion. You, anybody who does their home finances knows that's unsustainable. You'll be bankrupt in about a month. Well, yeah. and, and the question is whether the whole government, whether the, the United States is, is, is going bankrupt as a result of this reckless spending that's been going on. And Jay Powell may be encouraging it right now by lowering rates as much as he did today rather than keeping them high. Now, he's also doing something weird because last time uh, he dealt with whether there was going to be a rate cut or not, he said his, my, his eye is focused on that 2% core rate. He wants to get the core inflation rate down to 2%. Today, X, that's without food and energy. Correct. And today he said, well, we got the inflation rate down to about 2% already. Well, that's the CPI. That's including the CPI, yes, because we've had oil and gas prices come down so much over the past few months right. for a variety of reasons. He's, he's changing the goalpost, going from the, the core rate, which is still over 3 percent, to the CPI rate, which is 2 percent. And there are a lot of questions to ask Mr. Powell right now. And it has happened before. Back in the 1970s, there was an, uh, a Fed chair named Arthur Burns who wanted Richard Nixon to be reelected. He, he kept the, the rates artificially low for an amount of time that, that really a lot of people say the economy, it's always the economy, stupid, that gets a president elected. That helped the economy. But, of course, we saw inflation roaring back at the end of the 70s until Ronald Reagan came in and killed it with Paul Volcker. But the question is whether, whether uh, mm -hmm. Jay Powell is a Paul Volcker or whether he's an Arthur Burns. Yeah, Today question. it looks like he's an Arthur Burns. Hey, stay with me, David. Um... Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe. Subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.